Ooga booga. That means uh, I've discovered what the eagle eats. There he goes. Hey, get back over here, you. Hey, where are you going? I got some fishy for you. Yeah, so apparently eagles are not uh, vegetarians, nor are they chicken ma chicken vegetarians. I tried feeding them um, seeds and chicken, but they are fishitarians. Get down here, you. So I have um, I have tamed two of the eagles already. Watch. See? You see the smoke? You gotta you gotta feed them several. There we go. Nice. So now we have three bald eagle pets, and you can make them sit. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Welcome back to Minecraft Sevtech Ages. Uh, we're picking up right here where we left off. So let's uh, let's let's continue. <laughs> let's get this bald eagle out of here. I'm gonna put, bring him up here by the chickens. I'm surprised he doesn't eat the chickens because that would be cool. That would be pretty cool. You stay right here. Keep an eye on those two chickens in the uh, in the pots, okay? Um, so we're gonna get a big fight going here soon. We uh, we have all the ceremonies taken care of. Well. With the exception of one, and that is to summon the Baycock. This will be the final ceremony that we need to do, and apparently it's going to be very difficult, not only to summon the Baycock but also defeat him. They're pretty tough. Apparently, it's a um, it's a skeleton that shoots a bow super super fast, and uh, they'll tear through you pretty quickly if um, if you don't have the proper uh, setup. So we're going to do something right here, I think, and summon this guy, get the bow. And then we can move on to bigger and better things and move on to the next age. So yeah, we're getting super, super close. And uh, let's get these puppies out of the way because I'm a little worried about them getting killed by this thing. Because they will jump in and try to defend Ooga Booga Caveman, right? So Ooga Booga going to stay here. we got a few parrots in here. Uh, hero pigs all tied up. <laughs> I don't want him getting involved. He's a hero after all. So he might jump in and try to fight this Baycock thing. I'm not sure about the Eagles. Um, we have one up here on the totem. I think it'll be okay. So anyway, here's what we're going to do. Let's, uh, oh gosh, got more feathers and fishies first. Let's make a, let's make a shield. We haven't made a shield yet, but if this thing's going to shoot a bow at us super fast, I think it would make sense to have a, um, to have a, uh, a shield to protect ourselves from the arrows. Uh, do we have any pork over here? You guys want pork, huh? Um, yeah, shield. So I looked this up. We can make a wooden shield. That's a crude wooden shield. And then upgrade it to a stone brace shield. Which probably is going to... Uh, well, it does provide more protection. Right? 104 versus 230. So let's go ahead and make this thing pretty easy to make. Whole bunches of wood. And then we'll whack it with the Ooga Booga Stone. Ooga Booga Rug. What up, dude? You want to watch? Yeah, watch. You might learn something. Ooga Booga! There you go. Wooden shield. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> That's what my dad always used to tell me when he was, like, um, changing oil or tires and stuff. Pay attention, kid. You might learn something. Ooga Booga! And that is the stony shield. There we go. Put that in the offhand, and voila. Now, it's not... Uh, can I block with the... Yeah, we can block. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, we're going to bring it up to block, obviously. So, yeah, nice, huh? Looks like a Viking shield rather than a caveman shield, but it, uh, it's going to have to do. All right, let's put this away. Oops, didn't want to do that. There we go. Oh, I made shelves, by the way. Check out the shelves. Excuse us. Right here. So, they're kind of like the chests, but they're shelves. And you stick them on the walls. And they're pretty easy to make. So, I looked them up. Somebody had mentioned this in the comments that we can make shelves really easy to make. Just some planks and a good old rock. And that is it. There's bookshelves too. But we don't know how to make books yet, so we can't do that. We don't know how to read. That's crazy talk. Still a caveman here, but pretty soon we're going to move out of this age into the next age. And we will be enlightened in some way, shape, or form. Oh, let's go get... Um, maybe we should get a sword. And we can uh, we can actually repair this stuff. Check this out. Here's our sword up here. We can repair right here in our pocket real easy. Boom, look at that. All you got to do is uh, use the same material that it's made with. And it gets fixed, like this shovel right here. Let's fix up our shovel. Nice, right? And how about our bone axe? Will a bone? Oh, it does work. Oh, sweet. There we go. It's like, like new. 
It's just like new. Fantastic. Let's put the bones away. All right. So I think we'll fight with with sword and axe and shield. I don't think the spear is going to be good enough. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It is fast though. Two point five. You know, we'll have one out just in case. But well, we got to summon the dude first, right? That's the first order of business. Uh, all this barking in here. It's not even the not even the dogs doing the barking. Oh dang it! I don't want to do this ceremony in the rain. Let's move this light out of the way. Put it over here. Oh, and I had an idea. Now, because this guy is like super fast, and he shoots arrows at you, um, we need to make. I want to make like a like a little um, safe area here that we can kind of hide in, <laughs> and then whack him in the in the feet. Right? Should we do that? I think that'd be a good idea. We've got to summon him first, but I think we've got to make sure we get this ready. Oh. Get you out of there. And we'll do something like this, where we can get behind, we'll get inside here, and then just smash him in the toes. Right? Does that make sense? Let's make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. I have seen some video footage on this guy. It's basically a skeleton with a bow, and he is really fast and hard to kill. It's going to take some time, and there's many ways to cheese this battle. Um, but I don't want to... I don't want to be too cheesy, but I do have I do have one idea. Yeah, it's not super cheesy my method, but uh, it's tactics. This is tactics. Although I do have another idea. We could use rafts. Excuse me, that's mine. I'm thinking maybe we can trap him in rafts, right? Like he's a skeleton. So I wonder if we put some rafts over here, if that'll work. <laughs> right? Will he get stuck on it? And then we can just uh, kill him with impunity. Let me just move these things out of the way. We'll just spread them out like this for now. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm going to make a few more rafts. Is that my only raft? I thought I had another one over here. Maybe it sunk or something. Yeah, I'm going to make a few more rafts. We'll put a few rafts around this thing. And maybe trap them in a raft. And I'm thinking, uh, do we have... We don't have a spider here. I think we should make a spider so that way... Once he's summoned, I can just climb right up over this and get inside. And then we can get rid of this thing. Because I don't want him to follow us in there. Oh, what the? I don't want that. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that! All that stuff I just said. Whatever it was. <laughs> and we'll sleep the rain off just before we do the ceremony. Alright, uh, so what did I say? We want to make um, rafts. We want to make a few. And yeah, these are pretty easy to make. It's just... Uh, logs and string. Got plenty of those. We'll make a few. Let's do... Oh, get in there. Get in there! And where's my wood at? There we go. We'll bang a few of these out. I still haven't upgraded my stump yet. To the, uh, to the super duper uh, Ooga Booga stump. Which makes, uh, making the same thing a lot easier. But we'll just do this for now. I don't have time to make a super duper stump. Alright, that's uh, two more rafts. Let's do one more raft. One more raft will have that's a total of four rafts. That should be plenty. We only need one raft to catch the stinker. And I bet we can do it. Alright, put the rock away. Put this away. And we wanted to make... Um, let's grab this guy. And do we have any more red cedar? Uh, oh boy. I think I do. I gotta go over here to my, um... Yeah, it's in the cart. I moved it over here to get it away, to get Chuck away from the, uh, from this Baycock battle. We only need one block, right? Oh boy, someone's coming. Yeah, I don't want Chuck involved either. I don't want any of my pets to get killed by this thing. Let's get rid of one of the cows, I guess. Or how about horse? Do we need speed? Really need speed. Wow, lightning! All right, let's get rid of the horse. That's the horse. Hi! What's up, buddy? Oh, I thought I had a spear there. I switched to sword, right? All right. Guy wants to get involved in our ceremony, but... Sorry, pal. Um, let's go for... Spider! Let's check it out. So we got resistance 2, strength... Uh, resistance 3, actually. 
And there's our spider, so we can just go, we can back right up it, can't we? Whoop, yes we can. <laughs> That's awesome. And then we can climb right back out. Ooh, yeah, spider's pretty awesome. That should come in handy in defeating the Baycock. Oh boy, smokes is getting nasty out here. All right, let's sleep off this, um, let's sleep this off. Let's sleep it off. Excuse me. Do not jump into my bed with me. There we go. Good night. Trying to sleep. Yeah, I can't with all this barking and pigs. <laughs> okay. Did it work? Yeah, it works. Storm's over. All right. Fantastic. Let's put our whittling knife away. Whoops. Can't whittle that thing. Um, and now, I guess we're ready. Let's put out the boats. Put out all the boats. Oops. Put a bow here, and a bow maybe over here. Alright, yeah, it's going to be a little tricky with these rafts here, but I think this might actually work. Okay, let us do the ceremony. We are ready to rock and roll. And we need the flute, and we got the rattle, we got the bone uh, whistle. So, yeah, let's see how hard this thing is going to be. So let me let's read about it first. We gotta find out what instruments actually set this dance up. So the Toad Ten Dance is the one we want. It's a ceremony that will summon the spirit known as Baycock. Do not attempt the ceremony unless you are well equipped for combat. Baycock is an evil spirit who appears as a skeleton-like figure. He ruthlessly hunts warriors and is a master of archery, attacking with invisible arrows. If you manage to defeat Baycock, you will be able to get his bow among all the loots. Any arrows fired from Baycock's bow are visible only to the bow wielder. In addition, his bow is stronger and has a higher enchantability than a mundane bow. Sounds wonderful. And we can start this dance with a wind chime and an eagle bone whistle. Alright, easy peasy. Um, I guess we're ready. So let's, uh, let's start it off. Let's get that out of the hand. I need a free hand to whack the... I'm not going to work with that thing in my hand. Oh, gosh. Oh. Okay. This could be tricky. All right. Squat. Hit it. And then squat. Eagle bone. And then put this in my offhand. And away we go. Toe ten tantons. Whatever the heck it is. I have my skirt on, right? <laughs> I can't check right now. <laughs> oh, I love that eagle. This is really nice. How about if we throw a little flute in there, too? A little pan's flute, baby. Good for the soul. Oh, I see smoke. Smoke is not good. There we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, come on, come on. We can do it. We can do it. No, I'm losing power. Losing power. Why are we losing power? Ah. Oh, man. I don't know what's going on here. <sighs> okay. Well, that was close. That was close. But no cigar. All right. Let's move this out. Try it again. There we go. And let's do it. I think we need more rattle. We need more cowbell, but we need. Throw some flute in there. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't miss a beat. You cannot miss a beat. Seems like we have it, and then suddenly we lose it with this one. This one's really hard, it seems. This eagle whistle is supposed to make everything all easier, but apparently it is not. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we're going to get it, and then suddenly we lose the melody or something. Yeah, they I don't know why they made this harder. This mod developer made it harder to do these last ceremonies, which I think is a disservice to the player. Um, man, I don't like these twitchy things. All right, let's try it again. Try one more time. And then there is one other... Oh, no, 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 I need that. There's one other way we can try to make this a little easier. I think we can change the difficulty level to easy and we get more time for the ceremony. But right now we're on normal mode, so maybe we don't need it. I mean, we're getting close here. It's just we lose it right at the end. See, those drums do not... Come on, baby. Show me toe ten tans Baycock. Oh, see, there we go. We're losing it again. All right, let's try it. <laughs> let's go to well, peaceful. Won't work. We can't summon a skeleton in peaceful. But how about easy? Let's do easy mode. Easy mode. I hope this is easy. 
Uh, we'll switch back to normal when the fight begins. All right, ready? Start at that, and then that, put that there, and here we go. Now we're on easy mode, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Apparently easy mode will give us more time. Man, I, if you watch the, um... Yeah, okay, this, this could be it. The, the bone thing really does a nice job. Oh, gee, I just wrecked my flower. Oh, see, we're, lo we're losing it right here. Flute, give me some flute. See, it stalls out right here for some reason. Dang it. What the? Why is it stalling? It stalled out. Got about 75% of the way through, then it just stalled. What do we kill? I'm sorry, little lilac. Um, oh, and a blue flower too. <laughs> we wrecked everything. Uh, that was not easy, and I was still not even close. Ooga booga! That means I quit! I don't have a musical bone on my body. Here, take it. Take that, take that, and take that. I'm done. I quit. I cannot do this ceremony to save my life, no matter what I try. And I've tried a gazillion things. I tried 20 times to do this one ceremony, and I can't get it to work. I even had help from uh, Buffy here. Unfortunately, Buffy got in the way of me beating on the drum and took a couple of whacks. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, give me my instruments. I'm just going to hang them up. I'm just going to hang them up. Give me that rattle. Up we go. I'm gonna put him over here. I'm done. I can't do this. I just don't have the dexterity or whatever. Um, I, I don't have. I'm not musically inclined. <laughs> so I'm hanging up my skirt and all my uh, all my instruments. So we're just gonna summon this um, Baycock old school style and basically cheat. Yeah. So I looked it up on the internet and apparently um, a lot of other people are having this same issue and are resorting to summoning the uh the baycock with a command so i put the difficulty back on normal so we'll fight this guy on normal mode no easy mode so um yeah let's do it and i'm just gonna summon him and then back up over here and hope that this guy gets stuck in one of our rafts like uh like like buffy here buffy i'm sorry you 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 don't want to be this close to this fight don't move <laughs> <laughs> that is dangerous. All right, there we go. You sure you want a front row seat to this battle? I mean, it's going to be a good uh, it's going to be a good bout. Clash of the Titans coming up right here, the main event. But I think it's going to be too dangerous. All right, so here we go. We got all the weapons, we got the shield, and I think we have everything we need, so let's go ahead and do the command which is I looked this up. It is summon Totemic, that's the name of the mod, colon, and then Baycock. That's the, uh, that's his name. So we're gonna call him by name, he's gonna show up, and we're gonna back right into our little safe area, and then chop him in the toes, because I hear he's pretty tough. Ready? On three, two, one. Let's go! Hi! Oh, gosh, is he fast. Did you see him run? <laughs> oh, no, Buffy's on a raft. Oh, oh, we got him! He's on a raft! Haha! <laughs> Serves you right! Serves you right for making your ceremony so hard. Look at that. Holy smokes. Listen to him shoot! Wow, that is rapid fire, dude! I love that headdress, though. I wish I could get that headdress, but I don't think we can. Ow! Okay. Is that how it's gonna be? Alright, let's get a closer look. I wanna see him in full there. Oh, look at that bow. I want that bow. And the headdress. Oh, he just shot himself, didn't he? Oh, you're shooting yourself! Oh, that's too bad. Try that again. I'm gonna lean over to the right a little bit. Yeah! Oh, here we go! <laughs> oh, Eagle, get out of here! Dude, stop! Sit! Don't get in the way! Oh, you ding-dong. This Eagle, he thinks he's gonna help in this fight. Just stay, dude. I got this. Oh, I lost my spider. Spider buff. Come on, spider buff, let's go. Here we go. Oh! Oh, jeez, man, he shoots so fast. That is rapid fire. That's crazy. There's no way I could have beat this guy. Alright, let's have a steak dinner. And let's see if, um... Oh, his, his arrows aren't doing much damage to himself, so... Are you serious, Eagle? I'm just gonna do this. Oh, what are you doing? What's my Eagle doing? Oh, I'm hitting the Eagle with my sword, because the Eagle is stuck on the boat with him. <laughs> is he shooting around corners? That seems pretty... This seems like a hack. This guy's a hacker, too. Oh, gosh, if I get behind Buffy, he's gonna shoot Buffy. All right, let's get up here. Let's get back down. Let's have some food. Check the nutrition. Uh, let's have some fruit. 
Eat a little fruit. And we're going to have to hit him with the axe because I don't want to... Yeah, I'm swiping with my sword and hitting um, the eagle. So here we go. Axe is doing good damage. That guy's got 200 health. It's insane. I hope he drops that headdress. That looks really nice. So this works. Apparently, if you uh, are trying to defeat the Daycon and you can't do the, uh, the summoning dance and do what I did, and then just capture him in a boat. And here we go. Well, we got it. We gained 100 prestige points. And we got the spooky boss battle. We should have a bow. There's my bow. And some other stuff. All right, Eagle. Um, you are free to go. <laughs> and you too, Buffy. Thanks for coming and watching the fight. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, gosh. Yeah, let's get rid of all these boats. Looking dangerous. Um, so let's see what we got. Let's climb up here and have a peek. We got all kinds of goodies. We got the bow. Baycock's bow. Super durable. Look at that durability. That's insane. Um, it comes with arrows, so we dropped a bone arrow and a flint arrow, and I'm assuming we can we can make more of these. Yes, we can make these easy peasy with some flint, string, feathers, and sticks. That's the uh, flint variety, and then this one just requires oh regular old bone, regular feathers. Okay, good, good, good. We'll make a bunch of those, and oh, we got the skull. We got the dude's skull. Check it out. <laughs> awesome. Look at that. Pretty nice, right? what you get, Baycock, for making your dance so dang hard. And what else did we get? I guess that was it, right? We got 100 prestige points, which I don't even know what the heck that even is. But uh, let's try out this bow real quick. Eagle, you can settle now. I think the eagle wants to hop on our shoulder. All right. Let's go, let's go make some more of these arrows, actually. And we'll go shooting and check out this new bow. It's pretty awesome. Now, the skull. Thinking about... Can we just put it right here? Oh, look at that. You can put it right on the... Uh, hold on. Not like that, though. Can I put it right on top of the... Put it on top of this thing? Oh, I still have an arrow. Uh, no. Um... How about if we do this? And then put the skull on top of this? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't really like that. Unfortunately, we don't have any other post options. Um, well, let's try this then. Let's put that... Where's my, uh, totem torch? Put the totem torch down now. Oh, there you go! Look at that! That looks amazing! It looks like it's actually been crafted that way. Yeah, that's sweet. Alright, perfect. Perfect. So we got the Baycock's head out front. And now, let's go ahead and make up some arrows, and we'll shoot these arrows. So, apparently, the arrows um, can only be seen by the person that's shooting, right? Not that that's going to matter to us, but in multiplayer, that might be useful, right? Alright, let's grab some feathers. Where are my feathers at? Boom. Alright, so feather here, string here, bow at the tip, stick for the shaft, and then ooga booga! And we got some bone arrows. Multiple bone arrows. So that gave us six arrows. Ooh, that's pretty good return. Rate of return. Let's do it again. And this is where we could use that upgraded um, Booga Booga stump. Because, um, because we have to keep replacing these things. And it would be a lot easier just to keep a stack on the, uh, on the stump, right? There we go. Alright, that's 13 arrows. Let's make, uh, we'll make one... One more set of six, and then we can move on with our lives and go shoot some stuff with our new Baycock bow. When you got the achievement, too, which is nice. So, right here. Spooky boss battle. Fantastic. Okay, Booga Booga Rock there, and you are free to go, buddy. Safe now. Come on outside. Let's grab the wolf hounds, too. Booga and Booga. Now that we've defeated the boss, we don't have to worry about anybody getting shot accidentally. <laughs> And, all right, let's go shoot some peeps. Who can we shoot? All right, gotta be some zombies out here somewhere we can shoot. Oh, here they come. And a spider. Wham! Oh, a creeper too. Holy. Oh, wow, that was a good shot. Two shots to kill. One spider. That's pretty darn good. Look at that. Two shots. Wow, two shots to kill a zombie. An armored zombie, in fact. Man, I don't like the way they bob and weave a little bit, don't they? Alright, sweet! This is a really nice bow. 
Now, let's do some long distance shooting. So, I can see the arrow fine. Oh, you can see a little, like, it leaves a little trailer behind, right? A tracer? That's pretty cool. So, we're down to nine arrows. Nine bone arrows. Here's a creeper. So, two shots to kill a creeper. Nice. That's pretty good. Now, apparently this thing has super duper range. So, let's shoot this fella right here. Incoming! Boom. Nice. Got him! <laughs> oh, spider! Man, that does good damage against the spiders, too. Right, awesome, I like it. Of course, when they're getting close, we let the dogs have a bite. Get him, guys. Get him. Good job. Alright, so, yeah, you know what? I like it. I like it a lot. So, now, I'm just gonna stock up on some arrows. And get organized for the next... Uh, next episode, which means we are going to move on into the gears and then the millstone. And then we can finally finish the last three over here and then move up into the uh, next age. We move out of the stone age.